a oh, very good morning my dear students today i am going to start a new chapter which is formatting a document all right now first of all i would like to explain you what is formatting what does this word mean formatting means to make your text beautiful okay to make your text beautiful let's take the example of your classwork copies how do you make your classwork copies beautiful once you write your question answers what do you do you write your chapter name in capital letters and you underline it with blue pencil you write question 1 you underline it you write the answer and after finishing each answers you underline it again you draw the finishing line with blue pencil so this what makes this makes your text beautiful now in the same way in microsoft word when we are typing anything we can make the text beautiful okay now formatting means changing the appearance appearance means look okay changing the appearance of a document in order to make it attractive we can create and design documents by few features this you will study in this particular chapter what are those changing font and its size okay the first is changing font and its size highlighting certain words adjusting adjusting line spacing setting margins and tabs aligning text on a page creating bulleted and numbered list changing text case applying border changing text styles and color all these things you will learn in this chapter and i will explain you one by one by giving examples which you will see on your screen now formatting effects can be applied using the home tab you all can see home tab on your screen now in the home tab only there are so many formatting features okay we'll go one by one where you will find the formatting features you will find these formatting features in clipboard group in font group and paragraph group all right and also in editing group you will also find few formatting features in the styles group all right now as per your book as per the syllabus we'll take one by one now changing the font type now first of all i will ask you what is a font what do you mean by the term font font means the text that you type the letter that you type that is a font the character that you type it could be four it could be d okay it could be a symbol all these are font whatever typing you are doing that is actually a font all right now how to change the font now by default in ms word when you open ms word you will always see the home tab is open home tab is highlighted and in the home tab when you go to the font group in the font group you will see this thing calibri body and 11 now what is this calibri body this is actually a font wait just a minute let me show you this is actually a font face font face now what is font face now we all know that there are so many students studying with you you have so many friends now every student everyone has a different handwriting has a different unique style of writing right so what is font face font face is actually a unique style of writing what is font face font face is unique style of writing so in ms word also when you open ms word by default home tab is open and what is this calibri body calibri body is actually a font 
face. Okay. And this 11 is the font size. What is it? Font size. Whenever you will open Microsoft Word, by default, you will see Calibri body as the font face and 11 as the font size. Now, if you want, you can change the font face. You can change the style of writing. How? If you click on this drop down arrow, see, you can see so many different styles of writing. You just keep on pressing this drop down arrow. Okay, and you will see there are so many. These are all different styles of writing. Let's say I have chosen Broadway. Okay, and as a font face and font size, I have chosen 16. Can you see the pointer, the insertion point has been changed. The cursor has been changed. The size of the cursor has been changed. Now, let me type the word. Computer. Okay, this is which font phase? This is Broadway and the size is 16. If, if I don't like it, I want to change it again. So what I will do? I will select this computer word. Again, I will go to font phase and from here I can choose anything. I can choose any size, whatever I wish. The maximum is 72. And minimum is 8. Minimum is 8 and maximum size is 72. See. From here I can change the style. Can, you can see the changes. On the screen. Alright. So this is font face and font size all right by default what is the font face in microsoft word calibri body and what is the font size 11 and where will you find this font face and font size in the home tab font group where will you find home tab font group i hope children this you have understood now the next is and now let me Go to the normal one so that I can explain you. Size I'll make it a little bigger. Okay. The next is applying bold, italic and underline. Now what is bold? Bold means darker. Italic means little. The text will appear in little slanting way. And underline, the text will be underlined. How to do that? For that, the first step is... To apply formatting or to do any action in Microsoft Word, first, the very first step is to select. To select the text, to select the line, to select the paragraph, whatever you want to do. Wherever you want to apply. So for that, first step is select. Then again, home tab, font group. Can you see this B? B stands for bold. I stands for italic. And U stands for underline and with this you can see also see the uh, shortcut key the shortcut key for bold is control plus b shortcut key for italic is control plus i and shortcut key for underline is control plus u in the same way for font face you have the shortcut key is control plus shift plus f and for font size it is Control plus shift plus P. All right. We'll not go into that. I'll just tell you how to do, how to apply bold, italic and underline. If I click on bold, just see the difference. Just keep your eyes on the screen only. Then you will notice the difference. What has happened? I've clicked on B. The text has become darker. I, the text is little slanting. U, underline. Let me make the text a little bigger. Let me do it again for you. Select the text. B. Bold. I. Italic. Little tilted. Okay. Little slanting. U. Underline. Alright. So this is bold, italic and underline. 
I hope children you have understood this much.